on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer music from your free music app to your iTunes and how to transfer music from your iTunes to your free music app. Okay? And and it's very simple. Okay. So say you just got the new music app and there's and you go to websites but you can't find the song you want and it's available on iTunes. You could just go and pay for it on iTunes unfortunately because sometimes you're gonna have to buy. And then you can just transfer it to your free music app and it'll be there. <clears throat> or just in case anything happens or if you don't have iCloud or nothing like that, you could just transfer it to your iTunes. So if you buy a new one, it'll all go to your music app. So <clears throat> It's very e this is very easy. So you're gonna do you're gonna go <coughs> excuse me. You're gonna click your uh, your your device and you're gonna go to apps. And then what you wanna do is I'm gonna go all the way down. Scroll down. My computer is slow, so excuse that. And then you, you see a file sharing, and it'll be apps. And we click free music. So when you click it. It'll sh all the music will show up on this side. See? All your music that you have. So what you do is, you want to make iTunes shorter. See? So what I'm going to do. Go like this. And then, make it bigger. Like that. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go click a song. So I'm gonna click this song, and then you're gonna make it a desktop. <coughs> so wait for it to load. And then you want to drag it all the way to any one of these playlists. So my computer froze for a second, but don't worry. So now I'm going to go. Oops, there's one of the mistakes you never do. Delete. Y'all put it in a playlist. So I'm gonna put it in my music. And then. And it'll be right there. Right, remix, see? That's the one I put over here. Two chains and all that. Two chains. Trick over here. So there's proof. So now you've done it. <clears throat> and then you could just delete the desktop when you're done. I'm deleting it because I already have it here. That's why it says to duplicate. So you could just delete it. And so now, so now you want to send for items to go into your iPod. Here's what you're going to do. Uh, you're going to go, let's say there's a song I don't have. Like, 
Help it from another playlist. Alright, so I'm gonna go all around the world and I'm gonna put it to my music. This is my music right here. I don't see no type of songs. So, anyway, that's off topic. Click all around the world over here. See? Sugar Bear. Now, you wanna go back to your device click it stay in apps and if you're wondering why my iPods like that all the crazy stuff my iPod is jailbreaking and if you want to jailbreak your iPod I got some videos and I'll make more videos how to jailbreak Right now, I only have how to jailbreak for 5.01 and 5.1.1. So now, over here, I'm gonna open up free music and then you drag in to free music documents and then. Will be right there. And <clears throat> my iPod settings one with his memory because it, it's just too funny. But I'm a uh, hacker and stuff like that, so it'll be easy to fix. But I have no time right now since I'm making a video. So now. Whoops. What do you do? Start app. A little more. I'm gonna go to settings, and you wanna press import from iTunes, and then it does. And then you go to downloads, and the song will be on the top. So there you have it. No lie. So see you later. It's funny because when I had that part when I had no memory, but not fix that. No, such an epic fail, kind of an embarrassment. Alright. Alright, <clears throat> so, see you later.